Welcome back everyone, new and old. How are you guys doing? It's good to see you guys. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Coach Blaker. I've been professionally coaching for 10 years, diamond in all roles, diamond two peak. And today I wanna make sure that you guys are ready. You guys are guaranteed to have the best chance to climb that ladder next season, especially because they are adding the new matchmaking mode. What is it? It is going to give you games closer to your MMR. That means that it's gonna be a lot easier for you to tip that scale as long as you play well. And so today, I wanted to make a little checklist that guarantees you're ready for ranked. The season 13 ranked should be starting this week coming up. So it should be starting around Wednesday or Thursday. Riot sometimes like to play some games, so it could be a little bit longer, but if they are on schedule, if they are doing it correctly, it should start within this week. So make sure you got these checked off your list so that way you know you're prepared for the ranked season. So the first one we wanna start off with is do you know your champion? And when I say do you know your champion, I mean do you know how to CS efficiently with that champion? Do you know how to team fight with that champion? Do you know how to rotate with that champion? Do you know how to flank with that champion? Do you know how to engage with that champion? Do you know how to 1v1 with that champion? Do you know how to do everything in the game? Do you know how to do that with your champion? If the answer is no, you're not ready for ranked. You need to know that champion like the back of your hand. I'm not gonna lie, how many people can say they know the back of their hand? Why is that a saying? Who just wakes up and looks at the I know that I got fingernails and I know that I got knuckle, like who? And then I got this little mark here, like who does that? I'm just, I mean, well obviously we all have fingernails and knuckles. I'm getting off topic, so let's ease right into number two. Do you know your champion's win condition? Now when we talk about our win condition, it could mean the same thing for your team, but we're not talking about the team right now. We're talking about the champion. Do you understand what you need to do? So understanding your champion's win condition allows you to answer these questions. If I'm fed, do I know how to close out the game? If I'm even, do I know how to get a lead so that way I can then close out the game? If I'm behind, do I know how to get myself back into the game to then get that lead to then close out that game? It is very crucial for you to understand how your champion can win. Some champions have multiple ways, some champions only have one way. As an example, Uder is one of my favorite champions. You guys know this, especially my students, I talk about them all the time. I know that champion inside and out. I know what I need to do to come back. I know what I need to do if we're losing. I know what I need to do if our team can't team fight. I know what, like I know every little bit and piece of information that champion needs to do. And this doesn't even have to do with your builds. This has nothing to do with your builds. You could be copying OP.GG. It's how you play your champion to get them to that win condition that matters the most. Number three, do you know your role? When I say, do you know your role? Do you know everything about that role? As a support, do you know when to war? Do you know where to war? Do you know when to roam? Do you know when to rotate? Do you know when to call objectives? If you're a top lane, do you know when to TP? Do you know when to flank? Do you know when to rotate? Do you know when to invade the jungle to take camps? If you're a mid laner, do you know when to do it? If you're an ADC, do you know when to do it? When you're a jungle, do you know when to do it? Every single role has their specifics to what they need to do to make sure that they're successful. And do you know how to do all of that? Do you know what to do when you're behind in lane? Do you know what to do when the wave is in a bad spot? Do you know, you need to be able to answer all of these questions before you hop into rank. Which leads me to my fourth one. Do you understand the win condition of your role? Now you might be thinking, you just said that for the champion, wouldn't it be the same? No, and it's not the same. The win condition for the role is totally different from the win condition for the champion. As an example, your win condition as a gank heavy jungler could be what? Ganking lanes, pretty easy, right? But what happens if that's not the win condition of your role for that game? If I'm playing a gank heavy jungler, but the win condition for that game for my role is not to be ganking, do you know how to handle that? ADC, do you know how to handle when you don't have the peel? Do you know how to have that win condition of your role if you don't have peel? Do you know what to do if you have no peel? Supports, do you know what to do if your ADC sucks? I'm just saying it happens. Top laners, do you know what to do when your whole team's useless? The fact that you only have a couple of windows to impact the game, do you know exactly what you should be doing when things go wrong? So again, this is all the stuff you need to know to make sure you're successful. And a lot of these things are just broad interpretations of everything. There's still intricate things about every champion in every role. So, do you know your champion? Do you know your champion's win condition? Do you know your role? Do you know your role's win condition? The last one here is have you booked the session at coachblaker.com? I'm sorry, but you knew it was coming. So if you guys wanna improve, if you guys wanna get better the fastest way possible, the easiest way possible, less stress, less frustration, hop on to coachblaker.com, book yourself a session. Also, there's one more thing, and I'm only gonna say it in this video, and I'm only gonna say it once. You're not gonna find it in my Discord. You're not 
not going to find it on my YouTube community post. You're only going to find it in this video, and you're going to only find it now. So for those people that don't watch my videos, or for those people that don't watch the end of my videos, obviously they're missing out. But if you, you, I'm talking to you, use the code UPGRADE, if you buy any one of my lessons, it will upgrade you to the next lesson totally free. I'm only doing this now. The reason why I'm doing this is because I realized I cut off the holiday a little bit early, but also I'm really hyped for ranked and I wanna make sure you guys are ready. So if you buy a replay review, you will automatically upgrade for free as long as you use this code. You will upgrade yourself for free and you will get a coaching session for the price of a replay review. If you buy a coaching session, you will get a duo queue session for the price of a coaching session. If you do a duo queue session, you will get a bonus duo queue session since you can't obviously upgrade from from that to that. So again, use the code UPGRADE to upgrade any of my lessons. This does not work for bundles. It only works for the scheduled lessons. So remember, if you buy a replay review, you're going to get an upgrade to a coaching session. If you buy a coaching session, you're going to get upgrade to a duo queue session. If you buy a duo queue session, you're going to get a bonus duo queue session for free. It is only going to last this weekend. Once Monday, 12 a.m. my time hits central, I'm turning that code off. So you have to make sure that you schedule those sessions before Monday starts. The fifth and final thing, do you know how to be a team player? Now, when I say be a team player, that doesn't mean do everything for your team. That's not how it works. Being a team player means you know how to carry the weakest links. That's what it actually means. You know how to see the strengths in your weakest link and get them to help you win the game. Michael Jordan, one of the best basketball players in the world, had someone be on his team that wasn't that great, but he was really good at one thing. And that one thing led them to win the championships. Nobody wanted that player. It's the same thing for League of Legends. Identify what that player is actually good at, the one that's feeding, the one that's griefing, whatever. Identify that and work as a team together to get them to win. If your rise is zero and five, it doesn't matter. He will scale into the game. Just work with him until he scales into the game. What can you do as a team player to make sure he can get to that point? This is how players carry games. This is how smart players carry their teams. It's not about being better. It's not about stomping. It's about understanding what is best for your team. That does not mean go do that bad thing with them. That's not being a team player. A team player understands what's necessary to keep the team afloat, also how to get them that victory. I play with Mute on all the time. You do not need to type to do this. This is just something that you need to learn how to do as a team player. And again, book that session if you guys are having that problem. These are the five things I personally recommend as a coach of 10 years and a diamond player of all roles that you check off before you hop yourself into ranked this coming season. Remember, the new MMR matchmaking system is going to try to get closer to your actual skill level, which means it's about you being good enough to tip that scale in your favor. There shouldn't really be much of a stomp anymore. We'll see but your game should be more 50-50 and it's up to you to tip that into the favor of your team winning. So this is the checklist to do that. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Remember that code is upgrade and that code is going away at 12 a.m. Monday. Do not, um, don't try me. I'm cutting it off at 12 a.m. I'm gonna stay up, trust me. And I'm gonna cut that code off. So make sure you guys schedule that beforehand. Using that code upgrade will upgrade whatever you book to another tier higher. Replay review scheduled will be booked for a coaching session. Coaching sessions will be booked for a duo queue session. Duo queue sessions will upgrade and give you a bonus session that you can use whenever you would like. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, you know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Approaching this like a coach.